What is the best suburb in LA? In my opinion, it's Santa Clarita. All right, so let's say you're moving to Southern California. You need to live in LA and you wanna find a place that has great values, great schools, is safe, and you wanna kinda of still live that LA lifestyle. Santa Clarita has been the best fit for a lot of my clients. Let's say you already live in LA County and you wanna find a place that's a better suit for you and your family. Santa Clarita has been that location for people that are looking for that because it's quiet, it's safe, and it has great schools. I keep repeating myself. And you probably already have a ton of questions. Like, what is there to do here? What is the lifestyle like? What is the traffic like? What What is the experience that I'm gonna have here in Santa Clarita? I live here in Santa Clarita, so I'm gonna give you my perspective. I am a realtor here. I'm gonna keep it real with you guys, so just keep it real with me. So if you're looking to buy or sell in the Santa Clarita area or the surrounding areas, I work all of LA County and I have a team in Ventura County as well. If you guys are looking to buy or sell in those areas, feel free to reach out to me directly. All of my contact information is down below. Call me, email me, text me. My team and I are ready to get the job done for you. I'm a visual person, so I'm gonna show you guys on the map what it is that I'm talking about, where Santa Clarita is actually located to give you kind of the lay of the land, give you an idea of where everything's at. So we have Los Angeles, Angeles actual right over here that's downtown then we have the San Fernando Valley right up here and just north is Santa Clarita in this little pocket and all this surrounding right here these are all mountains so it's geographically secluded it's in its own area its own little pocket its own little economy people get this area a little bit confused Santa Clarita is made up of a couple different neighborhoods you have Valencia here you have Saugus all throughout here Canyon Country all throughout here you have New Hall here Stevenson Ranch technically is not part of Santa Clarita but we all consider it part of Santa Clarita and you have Castaic right up here so that's what makes up Santa Clarita like I mentioned before Santa Clarita is a little pocket right Right? And there is room for expansion. That's why a lot of people invest in this area for their own personal homes because it has the potential of increasing in value. For example, we have Five Points right over here. I've done a lot of home reviews at the Five Points recently. And then you have Skyline is this entire mountainous area right here. Beautiful homes in Canyon Country. It's awesome. It's just that they don't allow people to do too many home tours, but I'm gonna find a way to, to get you guys some tours very, very soon. So this area right here, over 15,000 acres is being built out. Over 21,000 homes are gonna be built there. So it's gonna be a ton of value added to Valencia. It's gonna be considered Valencia. And you have Six Flags, Magic Mountain right there. We have Castaic Lake just north of Santa Clarita. We have Pyramid Lake a little bit further, beyond that, Palmdale, Lancaster. If you're military like us, Edwards Air Force Base is right here, a little bit past Rosemond. That's a little bit over an hour drive away from Santa Clarita. Then you have Big Bear Lake right over here. And of course you have the ocean. That's about an hour away. So let's see what GPS says the traffic would look like from Santa Clarita to downtown, to the beach, and to Big Bear. Let's say you're leaving your house at 7 a.m. on a Monday, driving to downtown LA. It says here the traffic would be about an hour and 15 minutes. I would say typically an hour and a half, I would kind of put that much time set aside for that traffic. Let's say the same time you're trying to go to the beach, you're trying to go to Santa Monica, it's gonna be around the same time, same amount of time, an hour and a half. I would say a little bit closer to two hours when it comes down to the high traffic time frame. Let's say you wanna to go to Big Bear. This is the route that I would probably take, go around all of the Inland Empire traffic because there's always a ton of traffic there that unexpectedly gets packed up. So about three and a half hours there to Big Bear, which isn't that crazy. So the traffic times aren't really that special. If you live in the LA area, you're already kind of used to it. But if you're new to the Southern California area, budget yourself a lot of time for traffic because it's just crazy out here. When it comes to weather, it is a little bit warmer here in Santa Clarita. And I will say that there are a lot more fires here in Santa Clarita. Granted, there hasn't been a major fire in a couple years. And most of the major fires that have been in the last five plus years have actually been in LA, not in Santa Clarita, aside from the tick fire. So I'll say that the fire risk is really all of LA County, not necessarily Santa Clarita. It just so happens that there's a lot of land here in Santa Clarita, so there's a lot to burn. You got a lot more square footage here. So that's what a lot of people get hung up on. When it comes to schools, we have multiple schools that are in the top 10% in all of California. 
California. So I would say, yes, it, we have the advantage with the school systems and it goes above and beyond what the rest of LA County has to offer. Santa Cruz is geared a little bit more towards the families, not really good for the single life, I will say. There's a lot of family activities to do out here. There's a lot of hiking, biking trails. There's over 30 miles of biking trails here in Santa Clarita. And I, I, that's not even to mention the hiking trails through the mountains here in Santa Clarita. There's a ton of mountains surrounding this area. So there's a lot of hiking trails out here. It's really an active community and it's really family oriented. And I think that attributes to the safety. Aside from that, there's a lot of first responders, cops, firefighters, EMTs, and there's a lot of prior service military. So there's a lot of veterans out here with that a lot of family values with all of that said santa clarita feels like it's the last true suburb left in la county it's it's sad to say but a lot of what la has to offer is congested it's starting to get more and more congested a little bit more infested with the homelessness issues that they've been having a lot lately because we are geographically secluded from the san fernando valley and la we don't really get that here the communities here are homeowner first type communities not renter first type of communities with that the congestion is a lot less with less congestion means less frustration I will say though the traffic here does suck and it's mainly because of the traffic lights. I hate the traffic lights here. They suck. But that about wraps it up. If you guys have any questions about the area, all my contact information is down below. If I missed something in this video that you felt I should have talked about, put it in the comment section down below. I would rather have the open discussion. I like to have the feedback with everybody. So feel free to put any questions in the comment section down below. But if you wanna know the pros and cons of living here in Santa Clarita, click on this video. If you wanna look at some home tours, take a look at this playlist right here. All right, I'll see you guys.